G'day, it's Oscar here from Drones for Hire. I just want to walk through a method you can use for doing fence lines or any other perimeter spray using a few features like the root segment and the auto boundary. It's a fairly simple process. It does require a bit of tweaking. So I'll walk you through that now. If you just go into begin, and then you're going to go into the root icon in the top left there on your task options. So we're not hooked up to the drone and I'm inside so we don't have our position currently but if we just go to a paddock that we've already established you can see here this one's been mapped using the fruit tree mode so we've got an up-to-date map of the area giving us our boundaries. Now the first thing you might need to do, depending on how you've set up your paddock, is move your boundary points out slightly. So you're going to go to edit. Rather than having them on the fence posts, I'm just going to move them out about a meter or two. Like that. And you'll see why we do this in a second. I'm going to go confirm. And we're going to save a new one. So we're just going to call it the same paddock name. And we're just going to add fence at the end there just so that we know it's the fence line. I'm going to go into use. Okay, the first thing you're going to do on the left hand side on that task menu, just click across to root and click on your auto boundary run. You see it creates that orange line. After the drone's finished splaying the internals, it'll now do the run around the outside. If we go back to task, depending on what spinners you've got, what heights you're running will depend on what your route spacing wants to be. So we're going to bring that down to 3 metres. We're going to bring our speed down too. When we're doing, trying to get a tighter swath, you want to bring your speed down a bit. Um, anywhere below 10 k's an hour seems to do it. But for this one we're going to go for... Okay, so the lowest we can go on this is 13. To get our... Because we've got our litres per hectare so low. So we'll just put that one up to... 80 litres per hectare, and that allows us to bring our speed down. There we go, so that's pretty nice. So we could probably drop this litres per hectare down to 50 if we were doing a, a boundary run with just Roundup or something. So all those parameters look fairly good. Now if we zoom in here, you can see that our boundary runs not quite running on our fence line, so if we bring down the margins back in the root options, now you can see the middle of our track is basically on our fence line. A little bit of tweaking, editing with the actual boundary points, the purple boundary points will get you better on that fence line. That's pretty happy for our purpose of demonstrations. Now so that we don't run the whole mission, we're going to go into root segment. I'm going to slide the left hand bar across until we're only left with our boundary run. There we go. We click OK. So now you can see the drone will fly to this corner of the paddock up here in the top right. It'll follow the area, uh, the arrow along the orange line and just run the boundary. That's pretty well it. You're then going to probably need to rectify your offset in the paddock and you obviously have to be switched onto the drone you'll then click start and check your checklists and then slide to execute thanks for watching remember at drones for hire we've got a team of farmers and contractors and drone experts who can help you out with any of these tasks just contact us through the website
and if you buy an agricultural drone with us, we come out and do a setup day with you, show you how to use tools like this and, and how they can be used in your specific system, farming systems. Thanks again for watching.